Now, protecting the city includes protecting the workers. Now, well, Jake Peterson joins us live on how the volunteers are staying safe. Hi, Jake. And good evening to you. They are not letting up here in Parkville. Hundreds of volunteers are here right now. This is just an example of one of the sandbag walls that they built. Take a look. They're still over there doing it right now. And this is not easy work. It's hot out here, and soon they have another danger to worry about. The mighty Missouri in Parkville is behaving itself for now. But the forecast is for that to change. These volunteers are using ice cream, water, fans, and tetanus shots to stay safe. People are eventually going to be working in any type of floodwaters. There's always um, the, the high incidence of tetanus uh, infection, and people do still die. Mary Jo Vernon and her crew with the Platte County Health Department are giving free shots to volunteers. Like she says about 20% of people who get a tetanus infection die, so about half of the volunteers got the shot. The whole objective is to try and stay healthy. Worker Mark Owen is in charge of operations. He got his shot this morning. I didn't even feel the shot. We just went off. Keep on working. So. Owen says some volunteers have a fear of needles, but what's in the water could prove to be far worse. It has raw sewage in it, so as we get more involved in the flood, we're going to be around the water, in the water more, doing the different things. And I wanted to go be sure that we had some protection. Protection that lasts 10 years after the shot. And that sandbagging effort continues into the night and into to tomorrow morning. Now, health department officials also say that if you live or work near the river, you should also get that tetanus shot. Reporting live here in Parkville, Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.